have my final Eid makeup tutorial. I've done so many, but I had so much fun creating every single one of them. The most requested one that I saw in the comments and on Snapchat and Instagram was a copper bronze look. So that's what I've done. Um, I feel like this could go really like with anything. Apart, of, I wouldn't recommend it if you feel wearing cool tone colors, but anything warm tone in your outfit, I feel like this could go with it. For those of you that requested looks that I haven't done today, I will do them in the future. A lot of you guys want to see a blue kind of look, like a blue eyeshadow, like a navy cobalt blue. And then there's some of you that want more purples and burgundies, which I will definitely do in the future. But anyways, if you guys want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I'm first going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer to prime my eyelids. I'm just going to blend this out. I'm actually testing out some Amazon brushes so I can film the video for you. Um, it's mostly eye brushes, not any face ones, but I feel like those are the type of brushes that I need. I also just tidied my eyebrows. They just look so much neater. I feel like they looked very, very fluffy. I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O palette. So the first colour that I'm going to use is these two just to set the concealer. Just make sure that there's no, like lines when you set it in place so just buff it in quickly and just set it need a fluffier brush for this I just poked my eye so mind the teary eye look always do that for some reason okay how the hell did my background colour change? There. So this is not an Amazon brush. The brush that I'm going to use is this Morphe M504 brush. This is like my favourite eye brush to just blend and soften eyeshadow. And I'm going to buy a few of these because I always find myself reaching for it. If it's not for like my eyelids, I use it to set my under eyes as well. It's just, it's actually quite big. So, it, because it's so fluffy, I feel like it blends perfectly. I'm going to be taking this colour right here. But I did kind of mix it with these two. Or well, like with the camel colour on top. And this is just going to be our transition colour. Bring it in the inner corner as well. Just create some light shadow in here. Then I'm going to grab with another brush. I'm going to mix this colour with this colour. So these two right here. They're kind of like really matte brick colours. And I'm just going to really concentrate that under the crease. Well on the crease and on the outer corner. And you want to kind of create a V shape. Make sure everything is soft. And then also the more you go up, the less pressure you use. So as I, as I move up, I use literally, I'm just barely touching the lid with the brush. Obviously when I'm here, I'm putting as much pressure as I can. Just to make sure that the colour really is packed on. But I've forgotten how pigmented Morphe eyeshadows are. Like, look at that. They're so pigmented. Go back with the Morphe M504. M Another Morphe brush I really like was the M509, which I always use for highlighter, and I lost it. I don't know where the hell it went. It's either my... I'm pretty sure my mum has it, or someone has it. Because I can't just use lose a brush that I use so often. Okay, so I would say I'm happy with that. I'm then going to take a really even smaller brush and I'm going to use I think it was this colour right here and I mixed a bit of this because this is quite I would say cool tone then I'm going to grab this colour right here which is a pure like copper colour and I'm using a flat 
brush, dipping my brush in there and I'm using some Smashbox Primer Water. I'm just going to spray each side and then look at that pigment. And when you get to like to blend it like with the brown just I like to just like flick it and don't go too far off because you still want to keep the smokiness there and it just kind of does all the job for you I also did use some Colourpop eyeshadow in sequin and I'm just like lightly just putting some it's got like a sparkle to it and it's more of a lighter copper so I'm just putting that on the then taking a flat shader brush and with the first colours that I use to set the concealer I'm just highlighting the brow bone and again you can still use your fluffy brush just to kind of diffuse the two so that's the top lid done I'm now going to take an eyelash curler this is an Avon one and it's the one I use in all my tutorials and I'm just going to really curl my eyelashes because a few of you requested that I do a do look with no falsies so and I have been using false eyelashes a lot lately in my tutorials and normally before I never really did it I've just been obsessed with eyelashes lately but today because you guys want don't want to see eyelashes false eyelashes I'm just gonna use mascara oh and by the way I'm using the lash sensational mascara in intense black so I do a first layer and then I kind of let it dry and then do a second layer. But in the meantime, I'm going to use my LA Girl Endless Lip, not lip liner, uh, eye, eyeliner. It's kind of like a cold pencil, but it's like super creamy, super pigmented. And I'm just going to tight line the top. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Oh, wait, I forgot something. I did highlight my inner corner, which I forgot. Um, so for highlighting my inner corner, I use this shade right here with a super tiny pencil brush that again came in the set and I'm just going to wet it just to make it that little bit more intense. You guys see how intense that makes the eyeshadow look? Uh, next I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever uh, Cream Camouflage Palette and I'm just going to use this colour right here to colour correct because I have, can you see that pigmentation right there that has been bugging me, it's like it's getting darker so I've been doing a lot of dermal rolling, using a lot of my oils, bio oil I'm actually going to have a video about pigmentation and like skincare stuff that I've been doing to kind of help did it, like I still have pigmentation but it has I feel like it's reduced a lot I mean I've always had a bit of pigmentation on the sides of my cheeks and around my mouth but like lately like this side has been so worse today I'm gonna to be using the NARS Sheer Glow foundation which I haven't used in forever Now for concealer, I'm first going to use the Maybelline concealer in Honey, which is one of their new colours. It looks very grey in the bowl, and it's more of a neutral colour. I mean, I thought it was quite warm, but it's actually not. It's quite neutral. So I'm going to just use a bit of 
the Urban Decay Concealer on top. I'm also going to take some of this LA Girl Concealer in Dark Cocoa. I thought that it was Espresso, but I used Dark Cocoa and I'm just going to use a little bit just to kind of contour. Not too much. I blend my concealer. I don't want it to be too far out, so I'm just like just kind of controlling it with my beauty blender. But I'm just gonna go back in with some eyeshadow, just blend it in a bit more. And to set my concealer in place, I'm going to use some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. I'm then going to use some of my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in Medium Tan, just to kind of set my face in place, because I've been liking to do that lately. Especially around my cheeks, because... Feel like it gets so patchy because of that pigmentation and it bugs me so much i'm going to use this color right here from the city contour kit in medium and i'm also going to use a mac 109 brush just to really contour I'm just going to use a fluffier brush just to kind of bronze, kind of just like diffuse it a bit more. So I'm going to use this eyeshadow right here as blush. I kind of take a bunch on the brush and hit it on the, on the palm of my hand, just blend it. And then I like to just take my powder brush and just like diffuse it. And for highlighter, I'm going to use the New Look Golden Glow. It's called the Baked Face Powder. But basically they're highlighter in Golden Glow. I will have everything linked below as always. And I'm just going to highlight as always. You don't need too much with this one, especially if you have my skin tone or darker, because it can go a little bit, a little bit ashy. I'm going to go back with the two warm colours that we use on the outer corner of the eye, and I'm just going to really smoke out the under eye area. Some, and I'm also going to take some of the copper eyeshadow that we use on top just apply it in just that inner corner bit I'd say the inner third of the lower lash line like so then for the lip I'm going to use Anastasia liquid lipstick in Ashton I thought this would be like a good match for this look um, I also got some mascara on my top lid so ignore that I'm going to take that off in a sec it always happens to me, it's so annoying. Yeah, I think this is a really good match. Doesn't that lip go so well with the eyeshadow? I'm loving this look. Oh my god, why don't I wear copper more often? I don't know. 
So that's the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed this last Eid makeup tutorial, thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a lovely Eid and I had so much fun creating all these looks for you guys and make sure to tag me on Instagram uh, with your outfits and everything, I would love to see it. So yeah, make sure to do that and I will see you in my next video, bye!